All right, today on this 2012 Jeep Compass, we're gonna install part number C13081 from Kurt. All right, this is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on the vehicle. Next, we'll give you some measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. So the top of the receiver opening down to the ground is going to be 15 inches. And from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outside edge of the bumper is going to be six and a half inches. Now I'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. First thing we need to do is make a cutout in our bumper for the hitch. Okay, we're going to find the center of our bumper and we can use these two rivets here and here. The outside edge of the rivets looks like 14 inches. So we'll find our center at seven. We can go ahead and make a mark. And then from that we can measure out the width of our opening two and five eighths inches. And straight from here, we're gonna measure up two and nine sixteenths inches, which really brings us really close to this edge right here that's in the bumper. So we're gonna go up to this line here and make it easy for us. We'll be on a short side, so if we have to take out some more, we always can. Okay, and we'll remove all of this. All right, now this is a really easy material to cut, so we're actually gonna use some tin snips to make our cuts. That'll get us started for here. Okay, and if you need more flexibility to make your cut, you can always take out these rivets here and loosen it up. For more flexibility, you can use some tin snips to make your cut. And then we can use a knife down the rest of the way. Then we'll break it loose. and take a little bit of sandpaper to clean up any burrs and we'll be good to go. All right, next thing we're gonna do is lower our exhaust. We're gonna spray around the rubber hanger with some lubricant. Okay, this is our second hanger we're going to remove. All right, now next we need to remove the tow hook. Let's remove this bolt right here that's next to the canister. And there's one going towards the back, right here. Then we'll go ahead and remove the tow hook with one more bolt on the outside, and that will stay off. After our bolts are loosened up, we'll take this clip, we'll squeeze it and push it up into the frame. That way we can move our hook sideways. And we can just pry it away. Now I'm going to go ahead and install our hitch hardware, which will be these hex bolts right here. Okay, we'll just leave them in there for now. We're done with the driver's side. Now the passenger side doesn't have any hardware to remove, so we can go ahead and just install our bolts there as well. All right, at this point, we can go ahead and install the hitch. We'll go ahead and put it into place and push the hardware through. Now we've got our bolts through, we can go ahead and install our flange nuts. Repeat the same process on the passenger side. Okay, with all our hardware loosely installed, we can go ahead and tighten it down. The next thing is go ahead and reinstall our exhaust and our install is complete. And I'll finish it for part number C13081 from Kurt on our 2012 Jeep Compass.